you a help. Thank you so much. Thank you, Karzi. You're welcome. Thank you, Karzi. <laughs> yeah, I mean, do you feel like you're the reason you won that series or? I mean, definitely. <laughs> I am the best AD carry after all, so. Yeah, that's actually what Finn said. He, Finn introduced this matchup by saying, because we had a video of you and all your most funny mic checks. Um, and he said, what did you say? You can tell him what you I said. I said, uh, it's the best AD carry in the league versus the self-proclaimed best AD carry in the league. <laughs> that's a good It's one. a banger matchup, yeah. actually. Yeah. yeah. I liked your Senna game too. Uh, I think maybe level one was a bit hard for you, but uh, maybe level two as well. But level, <laughs> but level five, you, you had it figured out. Kinda. And a little dip level eight again, but no. Yeah. I mean, after six, I knew we cannot lose anyone. Yeah. <laughs> Great. That's why you had to give them some hope early, you know? Yeah. yeah. Then, then force them to dive you so that you could like get the counter kill. Yeah, I mean, on my def on my defense, I didn't play Senna in solo at all. It was just like freestyle. So I, the... The limits were not there, you know, level mm -hmm. one. Hey, when was the last time we played center, actually? A long time ago, no? Like, even in scrims. We gave up on it, like, four weeks ago. <laughs> well, is it, uh, I mean, wasn't it quite a hard center game to play into their comp? I think it's really easy if you, like, the level one is the literally the hardest part of the matchup, for me, at uh -huh. least. And after that, it's uh, really easy. Okay, what about the other games? Because we watched game one, which was so back and forth. Maybe Mac will get your perspective. Um, and Vitality won, but, you know. Mad could also have won, I guess. Or how did you see it? Uh, yeah, I mean, I felt like uh, I, w I was really happy with the draft that we got. I felt like in both of these games, honestly, later on, our, our comps were just kind of easier to play. Mm -hmm. I think there was some some scuffed execution. I think we're still getting there in terms of late game composure when it comes to the way we execute team fights, the way we execute around like major objectives in the game and things like that like i don't think we're we're clean yet and i think some of the jitters were showing a bit um in in game one especially but uh, i don't think it needed to be so back and forth okay. uh Carson, what did you think when you were hitting nash and your uh, silas knocked and rolled into the enemy <laughs> team while you were finishing nash uh, what, what went for your head can, you was, like, can i pick your band a bit in this i mean i was confused because we said multiple times me and Harrison were saying just let them come close mm. to the pit so we can just turn on them because nocturne had nulled and but you didn't give him clear direction how close Maybe he thought like no, River no. was close because no. the Nash is in River. Mm. It was exactly stay in the pit and then we left the pit and we instantly lost the fight. Okay. Or like we couldn't get a Nash. Yeah. Um, so Some basically, GPS issues. So you're saying that people should have not flamed Hilly a couple of weeks ago and Pot should have defended. Wait, where am I going with this? Do you know what I'm referencing? Yeah. About the spacing and the taking space? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so VTO was taking space. That's true. Mm -hmm. He took he took so much space. He yeah. took their space as well. Yes, it's crazy. Th exactly, <laughs> and you won. Um, however, though, we just talked to VTO on stage, and um, he said that the strat was to lose every scrim as fast as possible in order to then do better on stage. Um, can confirm. Rip heretics. Can yeah. confirm. Oh, poor heretics. You tilted them right out of the spring foot or what? No, they six sold <laughs> us yesterday in scrim. <laughs> oh, so their confidence was peaking, and then... We, we had two predictions for today. Number one. Heretics will, will lose because they stomped us in scrims yesterday. And number two, we will win because we got stomped in scrims yesterday and ended the day like still smiling. And that, those were our, our two predictions based on yesterday. I see. On the downside, though, you'll maybe end up on a Romain's uh, scrim world championship tweet <laughs> after the split <laughs> and be like, worst scrim partners ever. Yeah, possible. Who cares? Uh, let's see. Our Kia player of the series was Photon. He dealt with that Ari, didn't he? No. Hey. Masterfully executed a Twisted Fate Ari matchup. I'm sure he had a lot of practice in that. <laughs> uh, he navigated it uh, like, a, like an old veteran would. Yeah, how are the comps when the Ari got locked in? I mean, we, we knew that the Ari might come. Mm -hmm. We thought it's going to be AD Ari though, but it was AP, and AP was a bit more useful than the AD one. So it was surprisingly not as useless as you would think. <laughs> yeah, the comps were honestly like, nice, <laughs> useless champ. <laughs> <laughs> really? Um, we will, I don't know if it's ready. Is it ready production, our exit right. interview? Because we will also say goodbye to the Mad Lions. Koi, following today's games and to say farewell, Lore is standing by with Mirwin. Mirwin, thank you so much for joining me uh, after this series. Of course, this is not the way you wanted to end the season, but I, I need to know what happened today in terms of preparation. Where do you think things failed for Mad Lions, Koi? Mm, I think it's something we've been struggling, like this whole split. I think we had some kind of mental block, which it was kind of solved. Uh, like you could see, like in our games, we could, we were playing uh, maybe a bit too scared. Mm -hmm. And then teams would like stomp us maybe the heretic game. So for example, we didn't do anything or the K-Core game. And I think today it's kind of what happened. We didn't play 
mostly the first game. I think the second game we did way better and we actually played really aggro and more on our terms, but we used like miss execution with which can happen. So yeah, what says that? I think it's really surprising because I thought that what made the whole fire and strength of Mad Lion in winter was the, the fact that you were unpredictable and that you were fearless and if you feel like playing something on the day, screw the draft, we're going to play something on the day. Why do you think that this is something that disappeared a bit in spring? Because it felt like you had the same confidence. Uh, I mean, I think we showed many things already uh, last split. So it, I think teams were more prepared. Like for example, you can see the G2 when I played Varus. I think they had a really good plan playing into it. So yeah. I think teams prepared more into like what can I bring or what can like Fresh, for example, play out of champs or or what can all of us play. So I would say it's more not like arrows confidence or like playing okay. my my thing, you know. But it's more like I think teams are doing a better job preparing into it in draft and in games. So. Mm -hmm. What is going to be the goal then in summer? Do you think it's about reinventing yourselves or staying true to what made you strong in winter? What is going to be? I know it's hard because you just finished yeah. the game, of course, but maybe you have. I cannot really tell you right now. We didn't talk yet yeah. much, but I think our goal in the end is to end up winning Worlds. It's something we said from day one. So you just keep working. I think from this split, even though we didn't play out our best, it's a split that we can take a lot from. So I think it's mostly that, like the reason why we are not performing, it's something we can look at, we can look into it. Mm -hmm. And if this problem happens again, we will be ready for it and it won't end up like this. I do feel like still, even if the road ends here, of course, you, you prove a lot of people wrong. And you, you smashed a lot of things in the LEC and did the unpredictable. And for me, that what's, that's what makes the strength of a new team and new players. And this is what we want to see in the league. And I do feel like, that is what fans feel passionate about as well. Is there anything you want to tell your fans today? They were so loud again in yeah. the studio, always. I mean, it's always it's always like this. Every game yeah. that there are fans here, they are super loud. So, like, we appreciate it a lot. It's really good to see everyone cheering for us. And Mori, for example, like the K-Core game, it's like insane. There's so much sound for mm -hmm. both teams. So keep doing it. Well, I think it's good for everyone, so you just keep doing it. It's good for everyone, and thank you so much, Mervin, for the thank interview. You. Cannot wait to see you in summer and see the uh, new picks that you will have prepared for us. There will be something cooking. Perfect, then. Have an amazing break, and I'll see you in summer. Thank you. And thank you, Sharks. Back to you. Thank you so much. You just thank me. That's cool. Um, but great interview, and you're totally right, Laura. I want to echo that sentiment about the excitement that Mad Lions Koi brought, and I hope we'll see more of it in summer. But it's the end of the road for them. It also means that we won't see them at MSI. And man, has the community been talking about that? Do you think you would be the best second team from EU to represent EU at MSI, Karzi? If we win, then yeah. Only if you win the whole thing, not if you just make it to the final? I mean... If we, probably if we make it to the final and G2 are in the final, then yeah. Yeah, I mean, then you would make it, yes, but do you think you would be the best team? I mean, if yeah, since we would beat every other team. <laughs> That's true. So. <laughs> I meant like from a philosophical standpoint, you know? Mac, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I get Like it. who has the, be the highest ceiling, basically? Is it Fnatic? Is it you guys? Is it highest BDS? Highest ceiling? Um, I, think, uh, I think we have a pretty decent ceiling. I think in terms of individual skill, we have some of the most skilled players in the league. Like if you look at the, the hands that our players have, sometimes the things they do are pretty wild, honestly. Um, so I think our ceiling is is pretty high. Kazi. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think aside from us, I would say Fnatic has the highest ceiling. I think, uh, look like aside from us and G2, right? I think. Yeah, BDS. Looking, Who's that? I mean, I, I have no issue with BDS. I think I think they. No, I just no. think Fnatic has a much higher ceiling. I yeah. think looking. I remember looking at Fnatic on like week two of the split and being like, these guys are going to be really good. Yeah. I think they're going to scale very well into the year. I think that's a great point, and it's also what frustrates me a lot when I look at Fnatic lineups through the years, but specifically this one, Finn. Um, so do you think they're going to peak on Monday, and who do you think is going to win between Vitality and Fnatic? Oh, Vitality Fnatic is a banger, It's the best actually. of five. I mean, they can go anyway. What I like to say when I watch Vitality is that you guys, you drag down people to the mud. <laughs> uh, and if they fight well in the mud with you, they can beat you. Or if they have the discipline not to go down in the mud, they can beat you. But if you drag them down in the mud and they're not ready, you're gonna win. Uh, so that's all about what I believe. If you guys manage to get them down where you, down there with you, I think you guys can win. Marek Brazda, get in the mud with me. <laughs> yeah, I think he'd love to get in the mud with Karzi, actually. Yeah. I mean, 
we have done this before. Yeah, so we'll see it again. Uh, it is a best of five, though. I love how we keep moving the goalposts because we were like, oh, the games are a little bit iffy, but it's best of ones. Oh, the games are a little bit iffy, but it's best of threes. Now, though, it's best of fives, uh, including tomorrow, G2 versus BDS. As per your assessment of kind of the ceiling, I'm gathering that you don't think that they, they're going to beat G2. I mean, they've, this situation has happened a lot, right? Specifically in these uh, best of threes and best of fives. Yeah, man, I mean, anyone can, like, Winning a, a best of five is all about showing up on the day, right? Yeah. I think the the reason that I would say that G2 would be heavily favored is just adaptability. Mm -hmm. I think they're such an adaptable team. And I think that's the other thing, apart from like kind of showing up on the day and having clutch factor, frankly, and having like really good mental resilience. I think that's the biggest thing that allows you to kind of outmaneuver opponents over the course of a best of five. Um, and I think G2 is very adaptable. So. We'll see what happens tomorrow. I'll let you go to prepare for uh, Monday versus Fnatic. That's a wrap for all of us. Tomorrow, though, we'll kick off the best of fives here in the LEC Spring Playoffs. We'll have G2 taking on BDS for a spot in the final next week. You don't want to miss it. Good night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Jordan did end up crashing second wave though, rather than third, so it doesn't get that reset that traditionally see now. Zviral. Flash. Zviral for early flash. Oh, the charge! The tower! Oh! A lot of people are in mid lane though. Even Flacket has okay. come to help out. It's awkward for Oscar though, because Wonder pulls the wave away, and now Yankus is just waiting. Flag, drag, goodbye. <laughs> what? And Heretics take him on. Viro. Oh, Charm! Hits him! Absolute edge of the hitbox, dashes in! Like, bro, you are so f***ing good. You are crazy good. Oh, no flash jinx. You can kill him, no, no. Oh, flash. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no flash hatred, no flash hatred. Maybe you can kill him. Ah, yeah. I still coming, run this way. Careful, yeah. careful. Ah, he's gone. But that's a Zeri, and it's piloted by Noah. He's not taking shit from anybody. Quadra. What the game? I saw the clip. Oh, guys, we need to improve. We are so shit. Yeah, they're both setting up for a gank in mid, but they don't know that the other jungle is here. Rescal, he's got no mana. It's gone to duck. He might have to flash, but Electric won't let him out. Not will Dagworth. The video continues to try and control mid lane quite a bit. There's the ulti now flying through. The paranoia from Elio is going to result in a beam here. And with the charm as well, and video cannot move. Shut down over to El Yoya. Level one, Kazi heals away. The flash maps in first blood to Super. MDK start us off. Self-proclaimed AD versus, I believe, Finn said the best AD. I'm coming to, I'm coming to. Play me, play me. Yeah. Okay, Zai, okay, Zai, Sandoi, I heal you. Hold on. Okay, Zai. Yeah, I, I help you. Okay. Okay, no, 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 no